That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And how has your training transitioned from that time, right, when you were first getting into the bodybuilding to mm-hmm. now, which is, mm. again, what are you in your, I want to say. I'm, I'm going to be 49 tomorrow. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Oh, so happy <laughs> early birthday. Happy early Thank birthday. You. That's Thank incredible. You. So you're Thank right you. around, you're, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. So you're right around like Philip Ricardo's age. Um, yeah. Uh, if we're going to, yeah, like Jeff Alberts, these guys uh, mm-hmm. who, who are mm-hmm. still competing, still doing their thing. Yeah. yeah. How how has your training transitioned from then till now in terms of, because mm-hmm. you got incredible longevity. You still look amazing. I'm looking at you now in the Zoom meeting. Like your Thank biceps you. are, are popping out of your shirt. <laughs> like, let, let's be honest here. You could probably Thank step you. on stage. Yeah, for sure. So I agree. How, yeah, I agree. Right? So, so, so T- talk to me, or you know, how has your training evolved since you know from then till now? So you can keep doing mm-hmm. it for so many years. Mm-hmm. If we're talking about working around uh, or working, uh, you know, breaking through obstacles, whether it be injuries, uh, keeping yourself healthy, but still looking like this, you know, incredible specimen you are. You are you. With, with in terms of uh, bringing an, ama- an amazing physique to the stage. Thank you. Well, I mean, it's changed a lot. I mean, it's it's all about being smart and then listen to yourself because a lot of bodybuilders always feel like they have to keep up with the others. And for me, coming from a strength sport, I didn't care how much I bench press. I didn't care how much I squat. Those things don't matter to me. The mirror for me is what I'm looking at, number one. Number two, my feel. How do I feel today? Can I just go, I like, people like, how much you squat? I'm like, as much as I can. How much you bench for it? I don't. I don't ever give them numbers because bodybuilding is an aesthetic sport. It's not a number sport. You see, bodybuilders go to the gym. Oh, I have one rep max. Whatever. I'm like, that's okay. If that's what you want to do. That's great. But the reason why I think I have this longevity in the sport. So every year, I listen to my body, and my body kind of lead me into okay. This year, we used to do this last year. We can still achieve the same goal. But we have to change the training modality. You know, don't go crazy. I mean, for me, if you ask me about numbers, crazy enough, maybe I'll put 245 pounds on the bar when it comes to squat. I might do 15 to 20 reps of maybe six or seven sets. I am not putting any more in there. People are like, well, you can go more. I'm like, what's the point? Just because I can doesn't mean I should. I don't, I, that doesn't, those numbers on the plate, it doesn't help me. I'm not, I don't need, I just need, for me, I always say that the weight is a tool. It's a tool. It's not the primary objective anymore. When I was Olympic lifting, the weight, the numbers, those are the primary objective. But in bodybuilding now, where I'm at, I just want something to challenge my muscle. I want, I want a, a weight that's going to, you know what? I'm struggling by the time I get to 15 repetition or 16 reps. I don't care if I'm curling 20 pound dumbbell or 30 pound dumbbell. As long as I'm looking at my muscle, I'm feeling what I want to feel, and, and I'm getting the results from that. I don't that I would say that's one main thing that I've changed with my training modality is no numbers, no numbers. I can go into the gym today. I just pick up twenty pound dumbbells on the curls, or fifteen pounds next week, or maybe you know high volume training. And and also what I've also changed that I'm not doing the typical bodybuilding training anymore, where Let's say today you're doing chest, for example. You just go on one exercise. You do maybe 15 or 12 reps of six sets, and then you move from there to another exercise. I do mostly supersets now. I want to spend less time in the gym, but intensity should be high. So I will combine three or four exercises together in one set. You know, maybe I'll start with a push up, I'll do a dumbbell, you know, flat bench, I'll do a you know, bar incline, and I'll go from there to cable fly. That's an example of, you know, just a chest day. I'll probably do those combinations together like that. I'll probably do about eight to 10 sets of them. I'm done with that training session. It's done. So like the typical bodybuilding training that I used to do in the past, you pick an exercise, you finish the exercise, you move to the next one. I mean, you're spending close to two hours. I don't have that time anymore. You know, as, as someone who's also a trainer, I want to be intense, I want to be short with the duration, and I want to get out of there.